Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how you install Node-RED uh, on a Raspberry Pi and connect it to work with Domotix. Uh, so at first we need to uh, get our, uh, our Raspbian on our SD card. So uh, we have to insert our SD card into our computer. Um, and we, uh, well, I don't want this all formatted because we will do that with etcher so we don't need that uh, but at first we need to uh, down download our uh, raspbian stretch um, well i always use this one so you can just download the zip you can unzip it and use uh, etcher to uh, write the uh, image to your sd card so over here you can download etcher uh, I've got it for Windows, so I'll get Etcher, and we will select the Raspbian image, and I don't need the update. Make sure it selects the right device, and usually it does, and then click Flash. Now that the flashing is done, uh, you need to open the boot partition of your SD card and we are going to create a new file called SSH and we will remove the file extension. So we will have a file called SSH without any extension. This is uh, so we can use a headless setup and we don't need a monitor and keyboard to start up the Raspberry Pi. So now put the uh, Raspberry, uh, the uh, SD card in your Raspberry Pi and we will start it up. Now that your Raspberry Pi is booted up, you can use uh, a app called Fing uh, to search for the IP address or look in your router. Um, and we will log in as a Pi and the password Raspberry. Um, if I typed it correct, nope. Raspberry and at first uh, we want to do is uh, sudo raspi raspi config I need to really work on my typing skills raspi config all right and we need to go into the advanced options and we need to select expand file system to be able to use the whole SD card. So now we will exit out of this and we want to uh, run uh, updates and upgrades and you can do that by uh, doing sudo apt get update and, and sudo apt get upgrade. And that way we, you will uh, update your Raspberry Pi. All right, now that uh, we have updated our Raspberry Pi, uh, we simply need to copy this command and paste it into our SSH session. Uh, and we want to do this. So we type Y and enter, and it will uh, install Node-RED. Now that Node-RED is installed, uh, we would like to start, uh, let it start automatically, of course. So we need to copy this command and create a service that will automatically start. Uh, and now we can uh, just do uh, s uh, s so now we can just do uh, sudo systemctl start node red and node red has started and it already gave us the link we need to type in our browser so we need to go to the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and in my case that is uh, .185 so 192.168.2.185 colon ad uh, 188, 1880, so 1880. And I completely typed that the wrong way. All right, so now 
we have node red available. So now that uh, we have installed node red, we obviously want to connect it to the Modix to use it to uh, interact with all of our devices. And how we can do that is we drag this MQTT thing in, uh, in the field and we will add a new MQTT broker. So we will push on the pencil and we want to type in our Domotics IP address over here. In my case, that is 192.168.2.211 with your port. And uh, you want to type in here your username and password for your MQTT broker. And you want to give it a name, so a domotics master in my case. Uh, and that way we can just uh, use the uh, domotics MQTT, uh, yeah, MQTT services. So if we uh, domotics MQT, MQTT, we will see over here the, the MQTT wiki. And we can see over here all the values MQTT uses in the Modix and use that in Node-RED. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.